Whew. Hey, for a second, I thought a non-subscriber was trying to get my buff nuggets. Oh. But you know what? You know I cherish my subscribers. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to give you a mega one right here. This is the most simple, fun way to maximize AI, AI in a classroom. And that's making personalized, custom reading passages. Wow. And a sprinkle of your magic to make students go, you know what? Yeah, I want to read this problem. I want to read this passage and I'm going to learn this vocabulary. And yeah, I may not get a free pizza, but I'm reading anyways. Let's get to it. I'm always trying to find new ways, exciting, fun ways to make literacy, vocabulary, and reading more fun for students. Because I believe that those skills with AI and an imagination, we could do so much now and in the future. And so, and also I was thinking about me as a, as a child, like reading just wasn't, it, it just, it didn't click with me, you know, and um, if it wasn't for those free pizzas from Pizza Hut, I probably wouldn't be literate. So thank you, Pizza Hut people who came up with that program. And so I, what if we could create a story to help our students learn the very important vocabulary words that you have to do mandated by the state or your district or whoever, but we, we did it in a different way. And maybe we used a student name and we, we, we highlighted a student every day. I don't know, because this doesn't take that long. And really, in, in my case, I just wanted to create a quick story about a girl named Shayla. She runs a lawnmower repair business. This is just my imagination my, as a teacher. And the playground is where her shop is. Her employees are fairies and flirtles. I came up with that idea, not AI, flamingo turtles. And then most, this is an important buff nugget right here. Include these vocabulary words so young readers could understand meaning through context clues. So when they're reading it, they pick up on this context clue so they know that this specific word should work in this spot. And I said it needs to be about 700 words, and here's the words. And so I just copy-pasted a word of a words that are common in like fourth grade, I think. They're all, they all start with A. Yeah, I just, it's what I found. And then it made it. Shayla's Magical Mower Business. And it bolded all the key vocabulary words. So I could copy-paste this. I could put it in a doc. I could erase the bold words, put a line under it, and, that, and then I could put my word bank there. And so students, they, the, the brain is like, you know, it's smoking because they're thinking so hard about, I got to know what goes in this blank, right? Because the story just doesn't make as much sense. Because And they're putting those words in those spots. And I'm going to give you the link to my story because I think some of you want to read my awesome story. And that just makes me, it empowers me. And then maybe one day students can make their own stories and make it all come to life. Because, man, this right here, to me, this makes me feel good. It's just fun. I was like, I had this idea, and it made me a story. Could I write my own story? Yes. But to crank it out in such a very personal way with the limited time I have, man, you just can't beat it. It's just so much fun. If you enjoyed this nugget, I, I give out nuggets every week in my newsletter. Or you can subscribe to my channel. You could comment and say, I really like this one, Brian. Or maybe you should try this, Brian. I'd love to hear that, too. Hey, you have a great one. Bye. Jeez, I thought I heard somebody after my buff nuggets. I can't believe this. Buff nuggets gonna enlighten you.